All right, guys. This is my new uh, BGT calibrator from Steedstack. Uh, I'm just gonna go over real quick on how this is. I've been probably about a five, ten minute video. Um, real easy. So you have your commander position, which is basically where you're telling it to be. You have your actual position, which is a feedback position. The load the actuator is pushing out. The temperature in Celsius and temperature in Fahrenheit. Now you'll be able to manually open and close the turbo with the slider, except there is going to be a delay between going through the graphic interface, through the computer, and then to my controller, and then eventually to the actuator. So there is going to be a delay doing it this way. Um, you'll have five buttons up here, jumping 25% at a time. Um, and then over here in your turbo selection, you're going to be able to actually select what type of actuator you want to control. So the whole set of VGTs, now this is all the whole set of VGTs as long as it's one of their smart remote actuators. So if it's the 351s, the 300s that are found on Dodge 67s, or the internet, uh, industrial applications, these will control it, and it'll control the 12 and 24 volt actuators. Now there is some older ones that it won't do. There's some pneumatic ones, and there's also another one that has basically runs off current, which this won't do. But this will do all the newest generation hull sets. The Ford F-250 64 is the International 64 that's found I think 2010, 2007, 2010 um, Fords. I'm not too familiar with what engines they actually are. Um, but this is going to control that actuator as well. It might control some other International turbos. I just have to get my hands on them and actually test it. The Jetico Turbo is found on the Hinos and Isuzu's, like the J05, J08 engines. Um, they're also found on some EGR valves and even some other Toyota motors found overseas. The Hell Actuator is a really popular actuator found on like Volkswagen, BMW, um, the Dodge Sprinter van, and quite a few other engines. It's basically like a 1 to 3 liter engine, so it's a really light duty actuator. Um, the S300BV is found on a John Deere. Um, this actuator is also found on a bunch of other international engines. So I, I just basically have to plug it in and see if the wiring is the same and see if it takes the same commands. Um, so we're going over here you can actually see what turbos these are designed for. Um, so you basically just plug in the actuator as long as it's bolted to the turbo you tell it to calibrate and go from there. It may give you error up here if it does you'll see what it is. Um, one of the big differences between this version and my last aside from the turbo selections is these two functions here. So the sweep function is the same thing as a span test except the span test I'm sending the command to the actuator where this I'm actually varying the data going to the actuator. So this is actually my controller controlling it and this is the whole set doing it. Um, the calibrate button's the same thing as these two. The only difference is this is actually for the Jetico. Um, a lot of guys have problems with uh, the whole sets because you know they pull the actuator off and slap back on their truck and they go not realizing they have to be actuated or actually have a turbo rebuilder who can actually do that. Um, so the Jetico are no different. It doesn't seem like it needs to be calibrated but they do. So if you actually slap it on there and you drive, eventually the actuator will turn off, which comes to the conclusion that the people think they lose their, uh, lose their information, but they just need to be calibrated and it should be just fine. Uh, so these are the turbos. This is the Garrett with the Jer Jerico actuator. Um, isn't too anything too special except that has a funky adapter. Well, needs a funky adapter. Basically going from a T3 this way to a regular T4. Um, this is your Hella actuator. Again, nothing too fancy. It's pretty simple. These are your HE300 VG off the Dodge 67, the newer Dodge 67. And this is the Ford 6.4 liter actuator. So, the plan actually with this one is to have my Banshee controller control this as well, just like I do with the whole sets. So, you actually be able to take actually any of these turbos and put them on any motor but I think these are really cool for like older Fords like the 6 liter you'll be able to take the compound turbos from the 6.4 and now put it on and you'll have a high degree control over the actuator um, so kind of to start this demonstration we're going to start with the whole set So you see now all the data is filled. You go up here, you'll see a whole set VGT detected. I'm at command at 25 position. My actual position is 25. The load's 132. I'm still trying to exactly figure out what that means. And then you have your board temperature in Celsius and in Fahrenheit. So 
you can kind of hear the delay. So if you come over here to calibrate, you notice up here it changes to calibrating. And it's calibrated. And then you do a span test. And see up there it's testing. There's a nice slow ramp in and ramp out. And then it stops. So the difference is if you want to do that again, you gotta click keep clicking on it where the sweep button all it's gonna do is constantly just go back and forth real slow. So it's gone slower than uh, the span test is why it sounds a little bit more clicky. But it'll just keep doing it over and over and over again. So it's really good if you're want to bench test them or if you have like the hell actuators where you really can't command it you can just kind of tell it to sweep back and forth as you adjust it and a lot of these have adjustments like these stoppers here so this would be really good for them and then if you want to stop it just click on sweep again it goes back to normal now when you're switching these turbos out you gotta make sure you unplug it. Come back over, click on the next one, and see here not changes the data. So I'm still getting the information here to work correctly. So, but you should see the temperature, the positions, and then up here you'll see it says actually Ford BNT selected. And if you also notice that the Ford F250 here basically grays out, you can no longer click it, and you can no longer click the whole set functions. And of course you can't, still can't click the calibrate for the Jetigo. So once you disconnect the, the turbo, you gotta click it on the GUI, click it on the GUI, all you gotta do is just plug it in. So again, as you can hear the, the delay. So this is 0%, this would be essentially your exhaust brake. And now be wide open. And then you can come back here and click on sweep. And like I said, it's just a nice real slow actuation. And then when you want to turn it off, you just click on it. It goes back to normal. You're going to unplug your turbo. You're going to come to your next one. So it's not detected. Uh, I screwed up part of the code, so I gotta fix it, and once I actually connect to it, um, for some reason, this part of the code isn't responding even when I do connect it. But as you can see, same thing here, it's grayed out. These are grayed out, but now you can actually send the calibrate command. So again, if you listen, same thing, still a little A. Um, so right now I'm commanding it to 0, 0, 25, 25. Now the load on this one's weird. Um, I'm not too sure exactly why it bounces around like that. Click on sweep. And 
Now see, this is why this is really important for uh, to be able to calibrate these. So you can adjust these screws, which will give it more of a range. What is that? So the cool thing is, so like right now you can see it pretty much stops right there. If I bring this back out, it's still going to stop right there. But if I recalibrate it, it's going to go to this new position that I tell it to start to stop at. And then when I want to calibrate it, I'm just going to click on that. That's it. It's calibrated. Now, for some reason, I screwed up the code on that part as well. So this should actually say operating. And when it does that, it'll actually go back. So now I have to go back into settings and fix it. But it's not its not a big deal. It's just something I'm working towards. So now I'm going to click on the, the Hella. So now you can see up here, Hella actuator selected. Now this is going through pulse modulation, so there is no data to read back. And then for a sweep test. And the same thing, you're just going to click it again, turns it off. Um, so as I continue, of course, I'm just going to keep adding turbos to my list and hopefully I can get just about everyone on here. Um, I might even start looking at the current base ones found on a Duramax. Um, but yeah, so you can not only test all these turbos, you can actually use my controller and run these turbos on any engine you want. So please send me an email, give me a call if you guys have any questions. Thanks.